Okay, welcome to the next episode. We need to craft warp fuel. It wants us to use the scanner to search. So click C. And you see it gives the red and white symbol. And it's pointing to the left. We haven't been on this planet yet, it looks like. Fungal mold, okay. Fungal mold can be processed to get uh, nanites. Some people have made fungal mold farms to make nanite farms. To go. So instead of going there, we will go straight to that building. You can always look around the red and white mark to see if there's a site that looks like it's where you need to go. I land not far from the Let's see, moisture low on sentinels. Yeah, I knew we were right there. I figured this building was it. So the cargo drop is what I landed near. Because before I go in the building, I'm going to visit the cargo drop. I got a navigation data. If you just scoop them up when you're near the buildings, um, you know, I'm hitting G and it wasn't working. Yeah, something's not right with the game in Linux Ubuntu. When you go indoors, your toxic protection goes back up. Now, this is the thing over here. The terminal is what you're going to need. I'll go there in a little bit. want to make sure I don't forget anything in here. Okay, let's check out the haunted terminal. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take blueprint read log. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16. 16, 16, 16. Somebody is saying a lot of 16s. All right, so you get the product formula for antimatter.
dense carbon chromatic metal for the antimatter housing. Okay. Oh. Now I'm going to spend some time using the refiner. I'm just gonna turn half the copper into chromatic metal. We're gonna need more and more. Let's see, we'll need an antimatter housing. Notice I already had the antimatter from before. With those two, the housing and the antimatter, you can make a warp cell. And now we are live. 25% is enough to warp to one system. Okay. It wants us to launch into space. I am going to sit here a little while and refine the copper. I am also going to refine the chromatic metal. Might as well, you know, let's take off. All right, let me show you how to warp to another system. Okay, the directions are on the right hand side. X, well, right click to get out of those directions. X. Arrow to the right, F to select the galaxy map. Right click to free the map so you can go wherever you want. Now I'm going to go to another Corvax system, probably. See, this is Gek. This is Viking. All right, let's go here. It's dissonant, too. So there's a side quest on the dissonant planet with the corrupted sentinels and stuff. Guidance system malfunction, searching for other routes, searching, searching, obtain. Destination in 16, 16, 16, 16, 1, 6, 16. Accept new guidance, accept. Plotting route.
right, first let's stop at the space station and get another um, slot in our pack. Detected. Obviously, this system's going to be a bit of a pain. Warning. Threat detected. They won't follow you into the space station, so if you go in there, um, the battle will be over. Do a couple of things here. First, let's upload. I have 412 nanites. Now, notice the cost for upgrading is going up. A Class A multi-tool. 28 slots. It's about 5 million. It's got a plasma launcher. But the 28 slots would allow a good number of upgrades. F to look at other people's ships. Notice they cost about 8 million, most of these 8 or 9 million. My launch thruster is empty, so let's make sure that's full. We're going to need more tritium. And we're going to need to refuel the hyperdrive. Okay, let's warp here quickly before we end up in a fight. Okay, circling around, help me to find where most likely the fuel source will be, right here. Eat a land. Click F. Now, I recommend, well, of course, doesn't hurt to scan stuff. Okay, the knowledge stones will each give you a word. Don't forget to look up in the sky and get any birds. There are usually three knowledge stones around the monolith. You get milestones for learning words. Here we got it for five words called beginner. The milestones will help with the Atlas quest line. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? 
I'm going to say it is Traveler. It feels strange responding to questions I'm unsure that I'm being asked, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first, is it last? And I will say it is last, as I am coming after the traveler that was before me. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, have they seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? And I would say both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters breach detected. Alert, alert, the boundaries fall, the walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. And I get a warp cell. I could have built that, but I'm, you know, follow the quest line. Yeah, let's move along because we want to get on to the anomaly because that's that's what's coming I believe probably after the third war this is a war system so the chance that we get attacked is fairly high Paradise Planet. Um, let's just warp to another system. It's nice that it has a Paradise Planet, though. This Oriat's Yacht. Y O K T. Oh. I need to fuel the hyperdrive. Technology recharging. Okay, I'm sticking with Corvax system, so I'll go to another one. I like to stay with one system for a while and build my vocabulary and reputation. Then when you get the quest to um, figure out the map for the location of Artemis, you already have a higher reputation. So if you're with Viking, I would stick with Viking. If you're with Gek, I would stick with Gek. Whatever race you start with, Corvax, I would stick with that at the beginning. look around, you'll get a message when you war. Incoming transmission source unknown. You are Nox alone. Please identify yourself. Um, so just identify yourself. It's not a big deal. Um, you left Meeks. Why did you... I tell him I don't understand. 
Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd... Just like the others. So I ask who I'm speaking to. There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay, you'll get coordinates in a second. It's a hot planet with high sentinel activity. Not thrilled about that. All right, well, let's go. Fill our oxygen. Technology recharge. I'm over a thousand on everything now, except for the copper, which is at 500. But I've got 280 chromatic metal, which is comes from 560 copper. Okay, 350 units. I have launch fuel, so I can call the ship. anything it says target in range we'll grab the technology module while we're here Sodium, chromatic metal. One reason to keep some chromatic metal on hand. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. I extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Okay, you'll want that advanced mining laser, but you don't have that many slots. So you really want to get also a better multi-tool. Okay, now first the tritium hyperclusters. I have plenty of tritium with those. Now it wants me to install that laser. The right place for that would be next to next to your mining beam. So let's install that. 
I need a hermetic seal and nanotubes. So the advanced mining laser is easy to install. Just, uh, what is it? Nanotubes and hermetic seal. If you've been collecting resources, you already have everything you need. Oh, we need a wiring loom, two of them. Well, first of all, I don't really need this plus 6% class C scan radius, so let's dismantle it. That's one wiring loom. Then on the starship, on my, no, my exosuit, this heat distributor is a class C. Um, I'm going to dis B class. Um, you know what? I have 116,000. Let's go to the space station and buy it. Oh, wait, wait. Before we go. Let's see what we're missing on the fauna. Rare ground, always active. Let's just go out and look around us. All right, let's go to the space station. If it's rare, it could be a little while. I'll speak to the alien. He'll give me the location of his grave for about a hundred of those nanites. I approached the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. He says, witness, the life form dons a mask of undulating nanite clusters. And for a moment, their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself, looking at myself. I'm going to die. I'm sure of it. I'll just embrace the life form. Here, have a hug, buddy. I embrace the life form, but it is myself I embrace. The mask withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is saddened. They offer me pity. Now speak to him again. I wonder sometimes if I were truly born as others are. There was just the crashed ship. And then this. Isn't that strange? Born to a life of trading and accumulation without beginning or end. Well, isn't that a coincidence? I crashed my ship, too, and then I didn't have much of a memory. I give him a hundred nanites. He offers directions to a place of interest. That's his grave. Let's mark that. We will visit that. First, let's do the advanced mining laser. We need a wiring unit. 68,000. I have 117,000 units. You know what? It may be cheaper to buy something for 100 nanites and we'll save the units. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use nanites, I'm gonna install something and then break it down. We want the units, for example, to get the exosuit upgrade. Let's see, I like making a square. Purchase upgrade module. Uh, I'm gonna let me purchase a class C, let's say shield module. No, no, movement module for 74. That's the cheapest. Now let's install that.
that will increase jet packs. But the important thing is, I will get a wiring loom when I dismantle it. So it looked like a pretty good one, but I need to install the laser more than I need that. All right. We've got an advanced laser, mining laser. Not only does it increase our speed, it will let us mine other goods. All right, let's go to the grave. I'm ignoring the communicator. Grave will give us a, a, usually a good upgrade anyway. Sometimes you'll get things like personal refining. He says, I asked a question that no one had asked. It was simple. The Sentinels. What are the scent? Do they come from? Made it my life's work to find left logs, records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I extract the glyph and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in Okay, if you go in, if you hit escape, go to the catalog guide. Um, I think it would be collected knowledge. The atlas, portal glyphs. You see I have the first of 16 glyphs. Putting that in will get you close to the center if you put that in all the 16 slots. Also, he gave us this memory fragment. If you consume it, it gives you something. And look, it gave me a launch auto charger. So if I install that, that will recharge my launch thrusters. Pretty cool. All right, that was worth stopping for. Now let's head back into outer space. And let's answer the message. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first, is it last? That's a trick question, because you're not Artemis. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Correct? And there's a question mark. I tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We've been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Okay, let's enter the anomaly and then I will end the video. In the next video, I will explore the anomaly. Thank you for watching.